Having the latest high ever. Hi. There you go. How are you doing? Church in the morning makes me tired too. Should we ourselves? I'll start since I'm the least important one here. In the show, in the context of the show, I'm clearly the most important person here. But I mean for the show. Uh, my name is Jerry Jewell and I play the part. I play the part of life. Yeah! I'm Brina Palencia and I play Ciel Phantom High. Yeah! I want to tell you who I am. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great place to visit. Um, a lot of people do. Yeah, they, yeah. Great place to go, you don't want to stay. Um, no, Black Butler. Uh, originally, I thought that it was an anime retelling of Benson. You're too young to know what that is. Some of them got it, and that's really all that matters. Uh, no, my experience was going in, it's, it's the thing I remember most about Black Butler, uh, actually, is that's where I met Ian for the first time. Yeah, that was the first time I had ever met Ian Sinclair, uh, who directed the show. And, and he, he was great, because he made me feel really good, like overly good, more good than I should, more good than, you know what I mean, more gooder, more gooder than I should have felt, uh, because it's Ian. So he was so excited about, he's like a big, he's like an adolescent puppy, is what he is. He's like all lanky, oh, that was great, that was great. Yeah, he's like a lap. Um, but basically, my experience was I, I was to play the part of this dude who was, uh, I guess opium was his thing, right? Uh, and so I had to research as much as I could uh, what people acted like when they were uh, under the influence of illicit substances, because I had never done that sort of thing before. So I watched lots of films and I, uh, you know, learned how to sound as if I knew how to be high. Uh, I think that's how the kids say it, high. Um, and, uh, I, you know, the rest I just used my acting skill. That was my experience. about the show. Um, uh, I, well, whenever I, I saw, I had seen um, art from Black Butler before, and I thought, I don't know, it's not a very pop, it's not a super popular show, I don't think. Did anyone here ever see Nabari No O? Woo! 
one person. <laughs> well, I thought because Miharu and Ciel look so much alike, I thought that the artwork that I had been seeing was fan art of Nabari no O. <laughs> and uh, when I found out that it was a completely different show, I was like, oh, I definitely want to audition for that boy. Because um, he looks just like Miharu. And uh, Colleen is actually who cast it initially and did the first, I think like eight episodes maybe? Um, yeah, something like that. And she uh, told me about the audition ahead of time or whatever and was like, hey, work on your English accent. And she said, I want you to do Miharu with an English accent. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Um, and so I watched a lot of uh, Jane Austen films on the BBC, yeah. and I just repeated everything that I heard, uh, and that's basically how I learned the accent. And then I started to get into it, and I started to watch the show as we were recording, and now I actually, pretty much always, with the exception of Book of Atlantic, I watch everything ahead of time so that I can prepare, because that, I don't know about you, but I know for me, because CL is so emo has so much emotional depth, and there's so many things at play, it's a lot to keep track of when you're also trying to do the accent. And so I try to be emotionally prepared and have all that built up and all that prepared, so that when I'm in the booth, the only thing I really need to think about is the accent. Because it's hard to do both. So that's, of all the shows that I've ever done, that's the one that I do the most preparation for. Can Oh, I, I'm sorry. Are you asking me to talk like Ciel? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, I got a Colleen approached me too when the show was, was going into auditions, and she's like, "Hey, I want you to read for for Sebastian. So if you uh, you know that accent we're constantly having to direct you out of. <laughs> now you can just use it. So just come in because I fall in English." Great, he does, easy. like constantly. Whenever very I directed easy. him in Black Blood Brothers, my most <laughs> consistent note, was yeah, the one British. other person said, was, I was like, too British. You're not British, it's not a British character. Why, Why do you sound British? Why do you sound British? Why do you sound British? We can. So, and I learned how, I, I, British accent is, uh, comes very easily to me because I had a speech impediment when I was a kid. I was raised in Texas and my whole family sounds like very Texas. Where everyone has a speech impediment. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I really bad speech impediment, and even though my mom and dad and my brother all sound like they're from Texas, you know, they got that Texas drawl. Um, they all have a different Texas accent, too. My dad's got the real Sherman, like, Cedar Belt, sort of East Texas uh, accent. My mother has the, my mother has the Texas house of Wild Houston accent. It's just very enunciated. Um, but they don't want you to confuse them with those East Texas people. <laughs> Kinda, kinda, kinda. And she also was raised by my, my grandmother who was from Georgia. And, huh? <laughs> um, so, I was the only one in my family that I, I couldn't really speak very well and, at all, actually. So I had a speech therapist who was British, and so I literally learned how to speak from a British lady whose name was, was her, name? her name was Mrs. Britt. <laughs> Pretty sure she was a con artist, but... <laughs> She was really good at, at uh, doing I mean, I had her for five years, and she's who got me to theater and everything, so I, I learned how to speak British, uh, or just learned how to speak, period, by doing the accent, which was weird. So, a couple of years ago, Brandon and I, uh, my partner, went to England, to Yorkshire, for a convention, specifically for Black Butler, and there is nothing weirder than having a bunch of British people go, do the accent. <laughs> Please do the accent. I'm like, it's, you're, you're doing it right now. <laughs> I don't understand, and then I go, there's just something. Like, that happened to me in Birmingham too when I went yeah, to Birmingham. Yeah. It's just like, I'm just making fun of you, really. <laughs> this is just my judgment of you. Yeah. Uh, but it's really funny. So, I, so I, I didn't know how popular the show was going to be. Like, I just knew it was a show I wanted to try out for. It looked really fun, and I liked the premise. And I tried out for it. Um, felt pretty good about the audition, but then forgot about it because I always forget my audition. I just it's important put it out to of my do mind. Because uh, I know I'm probably not going to get it, so whatever. Then I was like, con. That weekend in Ohio, uh, when Colleen called me to say, "Hey, uh, you're gonna be Sebastian. Congratulations!" I'm like, "Oh, that's cool. Thanks." And I still no idea. Please, last time I checked, C Dog B A was the role of Sebastian. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. the one who's imitating me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's got a nicer ass than I do. But that's not fair. He's not gonna put any work in it. That's just how he talks. Anyway, uh, so I was at a convention and Colleen calls me to say, hey, uh, congratulations, you're, you're gonna be Sebastian. We'll start recording in a week or two. I'm like, oh, that's cool, no idea. And I round the corner and there were fans that were like, hi. This is gonna be really weird, but can you sign this Black Butler wall scroll? Because we're just so confident that you're gonna be this character. And I'm like, sure, I mean, I guess I'll sign it. Question mark after my name, and I was like, I can't tell them. I just got you. So, um, and my first experience of uh, uh, when the, realizing how like hugely popular the show was going to be was at uh, I guess it was the first couple episodes were being premiered at a big convention in Baltimore, Oakland, and so they had us do a Black Butler signing, and it was this huge like people just flocked, and I was like, cool, signing away, and there was this little girl. I have to drop the F bomb in the story because it's just. Good, so forgive me, but you're black mother fans, you're adults. Um, <laughs> or you're about to be. Um, and this little girl came through with her mom. Cover your ears, baby! That baby probably knows more words than I do. Um, kids these days. So I, I'm sitting there signing for this little girl, and she had the cutest, she was like eight years old, maybe eight years old, but she had this tiny little voice, and her mother was this tall, beautiful woman sitting behind her. Thank you so much. It was really, uh, oh, no, no, my and I'm signing and she had this whole thing she wanted me to write out. So she's talking to me and it's looks like, and I'm so really happy that you're Sebastian. It's the best thing that was my favorite character in the whole world. And I knew it was going to be you. And I'm really, really, really excited. And it's going to be you. Because I think Sebastian's my favorite character. And like, my mother is my favorite show in the world. Sebastian's my favorite character. And you're my favorite voice actor. Literally, they mentioned it's my favorite show. And you're my favorite character. And then it was like, uh, she just kept on going. And I'm like, hey, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. She's like, yeah, it's my favorite thing in the world. You better not fuck it up. It's <laughs> <laughs> like I stopped mid like, Look up at her mom, and her mom was like, <laughs> I will try not to do that. Thank you. <laughs> That's been my life with Sebastian over the years. Was it the word fuck? <laughs> now they're gonna go watch this video. Oh, that's a good idea. I'd much rather do that. Um, so I guess it's sort of a weird place to line up since it's in front of a bunch of people. So maybe don't line up. Yeah, or maybe yeah, or you could just yell from here. Yeah, just scream really loud. So who's got a question? Who wants to pick one? You want to? No, I hate it. Uh, we recorded it. Yeah, it's yeah, out. Yeah, it's, it's out. It's out. Go buy it. Yeah, go buy it. So we've seen it. We love it. Book of Atlantic. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, huh? it, yeah. you can pre-order it. Yeah, I mean, it's out to pretty soon. Yeah, we've already, it, it, it actually it was, it. Yeah, it was in theaters for a while. No, we're not that smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but go pre-order it on Funimation. Yes. And I don't want to say anything about his eyes because it's a spoiler. Yeah. So, I have I have feelings about it. <laughs> I will say... We've already cussed a lot that my reaction when we were recording was, oh shit! <laughs> I love when we have those. Uh, yes, you there in front. You can't do some red hair. Um, I have a request for Sebastian. A request? A request. Why not order? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Grell. <laughs> Grell doesn't. Sebastian doesn't do grill requests. You have to order, or you have to convince CL to order me to do it. Tell right. me what it is, I'll decide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Sebastian, I absolutely order you to read us an excerpt from The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> like, I'm just supposed to know. <laughs> Bitch, sit down, I got this. <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary 
me while I pondered, weak and weary, over many quaint and curious volumes of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, that suddenly came a rapping, as of suddenly someone gently tapping, tapping on my chamber door. Oh, how distinctly I remember it was in the peak December, and each separate diagram I brought its ghost upon the floor, and more stuff. <laughs> Most favorite than our least favorite? Yes. Who's your least favorite? <laughs> Don't answer. Yeah. Smart. Uh, I we don't have least favorites really because I mean we're actors and our job is to really love the characters we're in and, and like and also it's like I it's an imaginative job and if I feel like if there's not something to love about the character whose life I'm in right now then I, I I'm not doing yeah, my job. Yeah. So my least favorite character. <laughs> great learning thing for me because uh, it was one of my first roles, it was uh, Kaoru and Moon Phase. And whenever I did the role, I hated it because she was really whiny, and I don't like whiny characters. But then I directed Moon Phase, and when I saw her in the context of the show, I was like, oh, I get it now. I am a part of the whole. It doesn't matter what I think. This show is awesome, and Kaoru fits within the parameters of this show and not the, the entire show isn't this. So ever since then, there hasn't really been a character that I'm just like, ugh. Uh, there are characters that I forget that I did, so I guess you could say those are my least favorite because I don't care about them. <laughs> uh, but my favorite is Ciel. I, I love Ciel. Um, okay. We're still answering the question. I see. You have no interest in what I feel about my characters, and this is what I was saying at the very beginning. I knew this was going to happen. It was only a matter of time until you all turned on me. And it was all of you. You all did it together. I want you to go home and question what kind of people you are. Down deep inside. Oh, it's a little too late now. It's a little too late. I Valentine's episode of Charlie Brown. Yeah, giving you used Valentine's Day. Uh huh. It's, you know, I have been trying. Ed Sheeran and I have been trying to to make people accept redheads into normal society, and you're just not ready. You're not ready. Uh, you know what? You know what? You guys don't deserve my answer. You look like you have a perfectly innocent question that isn't going to break out into a fight. I'll try. Are you planning to make any more collaborative videos with Sea Dog anytime soon? Uh, yes. Yeah, I like him. He's a really cool dude. Connor and I met a couple of years ago in England, and, and we just like we got along. And I think he's just super funny. Like he's really his whole philosophy of like what he does and the whole his whole approach to humor is just he's so brilliantly clever and impromptu and everything that I just I love watching him work. Um, the interview video that he and I did where he placed like an, a really awkward interviewer and he was like, we're to hear the basic bullet points we're going to do, but we just want to improv do this and I'm going to be super awkward. And he's not awkward at all. He's extremely, in real life, yeah. real life very polished and very like a hello again. Um, and very down to earth, but he just comes in sweating bullets. I didn't know, that, I wasn't expecting that. He's sweating like the clothes are stuck in his body. <laughs> and he's like shaking with this pad of paper and he like asked me a question like, for a month. I'm sorry, do you, so this is really nice to be. So can you tell me about your experience on uh, um, on, on Black Butler? Oh well, yeah. Do you, who's your favorite? <laughs> like it just like stuff like that all the time, and it got more and more awkward. I'm like, I was loving the hell out of this, and it was so awkward and so beautiful. All of it like totally acted. That when it was done, and we were having drinks later, and talking about it, so I'm like, oh my god, Brandon's mom is gonna watch this and think something really awful happened. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just, we made that joke over drinks, and he was like, I was really she hates it. <laughs> Months later when it came out, she called Brandon. Brandon, 
Brandon, sweetie, have you seen that video with Michael? <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't like that. What do, we, what do we need to talk to to never put him in that situation? I'm like, hey, Connor, she hated it. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> You need to calm down, because they don't all know that. <laughs> that the Oreos in my ass were between me and Connor. That was us. That's the one you. You get your own Oreos. <laughs> How do you feel about that corset? Um, it's gross. <laughs> but also funny. But gross. Yeah, my response when we were recording was just like, man, and then like it turned into like a joke, and then I was like, oh, that's clever. <laughs> Is this better? Is it? Oh yeah, that is much better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Give him all the microphones. <laughs> Every single. Line them up like ice cream. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, thank you. Oh, that's better. Yeah, is that better? Better? Can you hear me back? Ah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, yes. because he's wearing glasses, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I can't get away from my character's wearing glasses. Yeah. All of them wear glasses at some point. Yeah. All of them. turns It turns out that conventions severely frown upon uh, opium in August. <laughs> uh, so I, I tried it once, did not work well. Uh, I shall not try it again. Um, in the United States. <laughs> I want to take the person way in the back. Yeah, with the TV head. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> I'm in the field. Hello. Uh, Change the channel. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Say, say, say it again. Your favorite insults of each other. Insults of each other. Insulting you artists. disgust me in your cat-loving face. <laughs> Would you like me to tie your shoes now? Hello? Wake up! Did I ever if you were going to, it was loud. First of all, I would like to say... What's your name again?
all of them. <laughs> Every character in anime. Uh, I, it was before my time, but I would love to have been involved in Cowboy Bebop in some way. Uh, that's one of the best shows ever, and one of the best dubs, in my opinion. It like created the standard for a modern dub. Uh, it was awesome. Also, there's a character called Blackjack that's kind of old school. Um, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Um, we should hang out more. Uh, but I would love to play that character at some point in, in my life. That's a right, kid? Uh, uh, I, um, there's an anime, it's one of the... Yeah? Hi. Um, Hi. Time, the first time I saw any of that, I was like, ooh, I'd love to be that guy. <laughs> but I wasn't. So, so there's that. Why did you post video on Twitter? It's okay, he needs to go, uh, they burn on my Hey, stuff. hey, hey, get your own panel, please. <laughs> You're killing us. Well, Thank you. That's, that's awesome. You can roast me somewhere else. Jerry is talking, and he would like to finish his sentence. Do you see how this keeps happening? <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern here. Um, so yeah, I, w I would like to have played that guy, uh, and 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 probably some others that uh, that you would have all enjoyed very much. I also wish I could have played the Jita. <laughs> oh, now I think that I think that's a fair answer. I think yeah. a lot of us wish that we had been around when Dragon Ball Z was going on, because Sunny Straight can go pretty much anywhere and be like, "I was Krillin," and everyone's like, "Yeah!" <laughs> it doesn't matter how long ago it was. Doesn't you know that show has been such a big part of so many people's lives? We we all wish for shows like that. Except the baby, he hates. The Krillin. baby hates. Krillin. <laughs> Which is weird, because they've got the same hairstyle. How did I know? A what? Oh, yes. Are, are we siblings? I figured that, like, she was the, the hot girl, and he was the supplier, which is how he got the hot girl. And, and she protected him because that's her supplier. That's kind of how I thought that one. Did you that in anime that there's siblings? I don't, I think it is a little in a, I mean, you know, there's friendly sitting in laps, and then there's, then there's more than friendly sitting in laps. Adults is like weird. Yeah, it's weird. Unless it's a significant other. Right. It's weird when it's a sibling. Weird when it's just so you guys know. <laughs> this is the time to end those awkward relationships with your siblings. Um, or you can move to Kentucky. You can, it's your choice. Completely your choice. 
and I've I've just been uninvited to every convention in Kentucky. <laughs> both of them. <laughs>